How do children learn to think? Llama llama, red pajama, thump, thump, thump. <laughs> Reading to your child is a way to expose your child to language from the very beginning. It's a way to develop warm, fuzzy, good feelings associated with books and learning. Llama llama, stretch. Can you stretch? Uh. Llama llama, bow. With infants, choose books that are simple, sturdy, and colorful. It's all about the pictures when it's with infants. Sometimes we'll just pick one up if it's playtime. We'll pick up a book and read it. He's really good at turning pages, <laughs> so we don't always get through all the words. <laughs> but it's more about pointing at the pictures and talking about them. I'm a giraffe, and I have to Actively involving your child in this way is more important than reading all the words on the page. It's the experience that matters. What are they doing? <laughs> They're on a swing. I like Snuggle them. up with your child so that they feel cozy and have a good view. Point to different parts of the page as you tell the story. What's that? Okay. It's a mama. You can also talk about the colors and the shapes in the pictures. This is blue. Yellow. Reading a book to an infant, I think it's just hearing your voice right. and seeing the pictures. Eventually, she's able to see that pictures are associated with words. Mm -hmm. So we read the same books over and over again. So when she sees that picture, eventually she's going to understand that I'm pointing to the color blue, that's right. blue. He closed the door and went back to the business of making his breakfast. He's making his breakfast, yes. As children get a little bit older, you can expose them to other parts of the reading process. Before you start to read a book, examine the cover, talk about the title, flip through the pages to see all the colors. While you're reading, ask questions that get your child to think. Where's the mouse? Ta-da! Ta-da! That's the mouse! She asks questions. Um, she recalls the story. Okay. So if you read it to her previously, she will recall, and sometimes I'm like, oh, wow, how'd you remember that? Because I yeah. don't. She will point certain things out, right. like this is a giraffe, or this is an ant, or um, this color is yellow. So it's good because it teaches me to make sure that I'm, I'm on my toes with her. <laughs> what does she say? Help. I need help. Point to the words. Show them how reading works from left to right on the page. And there are spaces between the words you can point to show them. When I think it's a new word for him, I'll say, can you say that? And kind of try to define it in terms of the words I know he already knows. Why can I be as big as a pig rolling in the mud, said Mouse? Where's the mouse? Oh, you're right. You're pointing right to the mouse. As you read, stop once in a while to talk about what's happening in the story. Respond to your child's comments and questions. Build on your child's interest as they develop. So if they're interested in bugs or dinosaurs or butterflies, go to the library and get some books about those topics. No one ever came to Bear's house. She loves reading. The more fun reading is, the better. It's all about developing the lifelong love of learning so make it fun. <laughs> How do you help your child enjoy reading and discussing? Which of your family members and friends should also see this video? Please join us and help spread the word.